next step we look into a step deviation method uh, it's uh, pretty much similar to what uh, we have done the in the shortcut method for calculating mean we uh, here also assume a particular deviation and let's say we uh, uh, let's look it through an example so let's say we have this particular data and we construct this particular table for it so we have class as this frequency as this midpoints as uh, as uh, which are, which are same as that in the case of uh, the shortcut method for calculating mean uh, now this particular yi it is unique so uh, in this also we have the assumed deviation or the assumed mean which is 65 so we will have this is a and this is equal to h and we calculate uh, the deviation about this particular point that is y i square do all these steps uh, with uh, by taking this y i square and uh, try to calculate uh, this y i square f i y i and sig uh, and f i y i square so um, after uh, we have calculated f i y i square we will simply calculate sigma f i y i square upon sigma f i let's say this is equal to sigma y let's um, this is sigma y square so we'll have uh, sigma y square equals to 105 upon sigma f i that is this we'll have 2.1 equals to sigma y square and uh, if you would have worked out this particular example through the general definition that is calculating uh, the mean first then calculating uh, mod uh, the, that is uh, then calculating f i into x minus x i square then you would have got sigma x equals to sigma x square is equal to 2 1 0 so basically you will note that sigma x is equal to h times sigma y this particular trick is used uh, makes very uh, easier for us to calculate uh, the mean uh, the standard deviation as you will note that the values of the data become very less so to uh, get a feel let's prove it so to prove it we basically have the mean as sigma fi xi upon n after we have assumed uh, this particular thing uh, we we'll, uh, what we have is sigma fi ma fi yi. So we'll just uh, replace xi with uh, yi. We have uh, yi equal uh, the xi equals to xi is equal to yi into h plus a. So we uh, let's substitute this. We have fi into yi h plus a f i upon n. So this particular term will uh, give us h into sigma f i y i by n plus a sigma f i by n which is equal to a itself. So we have h into sigma f i y i upon n uh, which will give us the value of the mean here. So after we calculated mean here, what we will do is that we will go on to write the formula for standard deviation which is equal to sigma fi x minus xi square upon, upon uh, sigma fi. This is the formula for variance. So uh, after, uh, write, after writing this, we will uh, uh, plug in the values of x bar here through this and we will calculate um, we will substitute xi also so let's write down a single term to get a feel of what we are uh, telling so we will have ok this is messed up so let's raise this so we basically have to calculate sigma fi x minus x i square 
upon sigma f i. So to calculate this, we'll put it plug in the values. Similarly, to obtain x bar was equal to a plus h into uh, the this particular expression. That is, uh, so uh, let's say we have uh, the uh, assumed mean as y by bar. So we'll have y bar here, a plus y bar minus we'll uh, put in the value of x i here. It is a minus h into y i square, y i square upon sigma f i. So this a and a will cancel out, and we'll get h square sigma f i y bar minus y i whole square upon sigma f i here. So uh, now using uh, the second formula, that is the shortcut formula for calculating the standard deviation. We will this will be reduced to sigma y square uh, equals to sigma. Sorry, um, this will be uh, sigma x square will be equal to x square times sigma y square, which gives us sigma x equals to h times sigma y. This particular formula is extensively used, uh, and the method is extensively applied to calculate the standard deviation for large data last and uh, the simplest concept in this particular series is the coefficient of variation so we could have uh, two particular data with the same mean but uh, different standard deviation or likewise to up, uh, so to compare these data we need uh, another term which is called the coefficient of variation and is given by sigma upon x bar into 100 so uh, it's pretty simple. I don't think uh, there's much explanation needed here. Uh, only thing you note is that the series with lesser CV is said to be more consistent than the other. That is, the uh, values are more closer to the uh, point uh, uh, about which the mean or the standard deviation is calculated. Thank you. I hope this video tutorial was helpful in understanding uh, the basic concepts of statistics. Thank you.